Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Ian Yarwood and I'm a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. Today's video is about this lady. Her name is Charlene and she is one of the two Japanese nationals who died on Kotao whose deaths I know about. Now I must confess that I have found it quite difficult to really get many details uh, about uh, these uh, two deaths but uh, one thing I can tell you is that within the very small Kotao community their deaths were fairly well known about um, although nothing will appear in the mainstream media. So in the circumstances I really would appreciate it if you my viewers could give this video a thumbs up and share it on your social media uh, platforms and also leave any constructive comments below and uh, press the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Those sorts of things um, will mean that you can keep abreast of uh, any uh, new information that I come up with which and information about crimes that will not be covered in the mainstream media or perhaps won't be covered very well. And uh, it also means that other people will, um, other people who may be interested in this subject may get to learn a bit more. So, um, look, Charlene was a Japanese diving instructor and she was also a translator with a very um, good command of the English language. She did work for a number of the diving schools on Kotao, most notably for uh, uh, Big Blue Diving Kotao, where she ran the Big Blue Chaba programs, which were targeted at Japanese tourists. And um, yeah, it was all done under the umbrella of uh, Big Blue Diving. Now, uh, I do not know Charlene's Japanese name, um, but people on Kotao just used her uh, English name, which uh, she'd adopted as of Charlene. So if any of you viewers do know her Japanese name, uh, it would be really wonderful if you could leave a comment below so that you could inform me and inform the other viewers. And of course, for those of you who wish to remain anonymous, I will have my email address below so you may send uh, information through to me anonymously and then I might pass it on uh, in the future. And often, if I do learn more information, I do uh, often put that in the description below as uh, new information comes to hand. And uh, given that I certainly don't know everything, I absolutely encourage all of you to read the comments below that people have taken the trouble to leave, because quite often you'll see little gems of information there uh, that uh, you won't find anywhere else, and it may be pieces of information that, that I never knew about. So the story goes that uh, Charlene vanished one day, and uh, that several days later her body was found within the jungle on Kotao. That doesn't seem to be contentious at all. However, I have uh, received a few versions um, of the story beyond that. One version is that her body was found uh, on the jungle and decomposing. And another version of the story is that her body was found hanging from a tree with a very serious wound to her chest. Now, I also understand that Charlene had left no suicide note. However, the Kotao police, uh, notwithstanding the absence of a suicide note, the Kotao police dismissed her death as a suicide. The alternative uh, conclusion that the Kotao police normally spread around is that uh, when there is a, a suspicious death or when there is a mysterious death, the alternative is that they will say that um, the person died, or the tourist died of an accident. Now, I further understand that most of the locals at the time believed that Charlene had been murdered, um, although many of those put out the view that if she had been murdered, it must have been by one or more of the Burmese migrant workers. And the reason why they do that is that the Thais often use the Burmese as scapegoats on Koh Tao and also in other parts of Thailand. Now, what motives could anyone have had to to kill Charlene. Now as it turned out, Charlene had made herself unpopular with quite a few people, both on Koh Tao and in that immediate area. Firstly, she was involved with uh, what was known as the Koh Tao Dive Operators Club, which was actively involved in trying to prevent 
um, some fishing uh, in Koh Tao waters. So that of course would make her very unpopular with the fishing industry. Secondly, she was attempting to stop some of the dive sites around Koh Tao from being used. So of course that would make her unpopular with many of the diving schools. Thirdly, and this is a bit more contentious, uh, she had apparently leveled an allegation at another diving instructor and she'd been quite scathing in her criticism not only of him but also of the diving school that he worked for. Now it's not necessary at all for me to um, repeat that allegation, it's not necessary for me to identify him uh, nor his diving school um, but I do understand that the long-term residents of Koh Tao would be well aware of her allegation and of her criticisms. Now Charlene's death certainly does appear to be suspicious or uh, mysterious um, but I don't know whether she was murdered and if she was murdered I certainly don't know who the perpetrator or perpetra the perpetrator was or the perpetrators were. I don't even know the date that she disappeared or the date that she was supposed to have been murdered. Um, and in fact, uh, although I've got a rough idea of the time frame, I don't even know for sure the year that uh, she died. So again, I'll turn to you, my viewers, if any of you have got more information about uh, the time of her death, if you could leave a comment below, I know I would appreciate it. I'm sure many of the other viewers would appreciate that also. And you can see that's a good reason to read the comments below. Um, now as you can see this story that I've given you today is very incomplete however uh, I'll put it to you that it is much better than anything you'll find in the mainstream media because in the mainstream media you will find nothing. Now I really do appreciate uh, likes, constructive comments and I always look forward to seeing new viewers so um, uh, please give the video a thumbs up, please leave any constructive comments below and subscribe if you've not already done so. Uh, thank you very much for viewing all the way to the very end. I really do appreciate it and stay safe. Bye for now.